So we have a lot of road traffic and congestion, uh, e-commerce logistics that is cluttering the small streets in the inner city. Uh, while at the same time, we have a lot of uh, open water available in the canals that is not being used anymore for transport, only for tourists. Um, so we developed a, uh, a self-driving and autonomous ship um, to help with logistics in the city and also uh, bringing people around in the city. We have made the, uh, the analysis to see, okay, if we want to, for instance, collect household waste in the inner city, which is a major challenge, uh, we can do this over the water and we sh uh, only need uh, about 140 different containers placed near the cables and then several smart rowboats picking up these uh, container boats and bring them to the uh, waste collection company in the port of Amsterdam. With the, the software that we developed, you can plan your route. So if you want to go from A to B, it automatically calculates the most efficient route to sail. Um, then when it's sailing, it, it uh, senses and maps the environment to see where are other objects or other ships that I have to uh, avoid any collisions with. Um, the great thing if you compare it to an autonomous car is that the speeds are quite low. So it's only six to seven kilometers an hour on the water. Uh, because you're not allowed to go any faster on the water. So for people on the boat, um, it's quite a, a nice experience and calm experience to just uh, sail. One very important thing I think that we have been able to develop is that the boat is also able to dock autonomously and uh, latch to other boats. So it can really pick up other boats, like a tugboat, but it also can really dock fully autonomously and take in passengers or uh, uh, load of uh, construction materials.